the initiative for this uh, exhibition came from uh, Peter Murray in the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. I didn't want to do another exhibition of the same work. This is a new show in Britain, which is always very important to me, showing some new aspects or continue the dialogue, my discourse with the British public. This is an entirely different landscape. The rolling basin-like situation of Yorkshire, these huge flat vistas, spaces that were more or less divided by vegetation. And then this fantastic building, the Houghton Hall itself, Here we have uh, the opportunity for viewers to look at your sculpture in relation to an amazing portraiture by Risebrack in the Stone Hall. They have a Leocoon group. I mean, what is it about these dialogues with historic sculpture and statuary that you, you enjoy? Sculpture actually develops at a very fast rate and is, has, has an enormous dynamic about it. In the last 120, 130 years, sculpture is an amazing development. When you actually have the opportunity to measure that up against, you know, some 19th century artworks of one form or another, you see how fast things have changed historically. In the large stone hall, there are three works of yours, two in frequencies. An integer, of course, is a very new work, brand new. Can you talk about that work and that particular cluster of three works in the stone hall? Why you opted for that tripartite dialogue? A lot of the work I've been making in the last 10 years, I make in plywood, in layers and layers. I build it up, stack it up, change it, keep changing it until I finally get to somewhere I'm interested in. The works in the stone room follow the, the series I call stacked, but they have almost a geological layering and structure. I wanted a bit of counter reaction in there. And uh, so the new work, the integer, I thought would be a good choice to, to put that in amongst those two to, to balance things out. When the work arrived, it came as untitled. And when the show ended, it was called Integers. That work got that title within the course of the show. It's an amazing title and uh, wonderfully kind of mathematically matter of fact compared to the sensuality of the sculpture itself. I've never been interested in copying things as they are. I don't make a horse out of bronze or a person, a human figure out of marble. But then, you know, I would like to have elements in there. And I think that the integers, they have a figurative background and they have a, in their constellation a very intimate background. But I didn't want to copy the figure. You know, I made the whole thing up without looking at the figure and just make forms in the studio without getting into anatomic details. I think it's very helpful to people who, uh, in Britain and at the exhibition who are coming to your work afresh to see work on paper in the exhibition. I think it gives people a different kind of portal into the kind of things you're discussing. I love to draw and I draw daily. I don't draw things. It's just a material. It's just graphite on cellulose. And once you start to do it, it's not really even that important what is actually happening on the page. It's much more important what's happening in my head very often when I look at the drawings the next day, I think, ah, this could be, this could be something interesting to maybe follow up. What about lithographs and the work on shows, the Waldzimmer suite of lithographs, Woodroom, which is a great title. The Waldzimmer was a series with us spending a lot of time in the forest and, you know, just just fascinated by the volumes and the texture of everything around you and knowing how you're going to represent that. You know, start drawing millions of leaves and the bark and no, 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 I'm not, wasn't going to do that. Now, the great thing about lithography is it is also very physical. There's a moment where you, you have to start the surface in front of you and you've got, this, you've got all these sort of archaic materials and there's not a great deal of room for correction. You know, once it's done, it's done. You, you, correcting it, you, you might as well start again because of corrections you see on the stone. 
the way you talk about drawing and the materiality of graphite and so on really brings to mind that amazing book you produced recently, Micro the Studio, in which we found all these materials, flecks and fragments of materials in the studio, and had them microscopically photographed to show their incredible structural life. There is a substructure, that unseen substructure to all the stuff around us. As you get down to a certain level of microscopy, you're really into the into into the cellulose structure of the wood. It looks it looks very very plastic, very dimensional, very three dimensional. The flat surface just our generalization. I mean, our shows the limit of our uh, perceptions.